Hello, my name's Andy Raphael from eTechnics.com and today we're going to be looking at the Novatech Explorer E16 Home Laptop. What comes included with the laptop is a Windows Vista Home Premium CD as well as the Guide to Windows Vista Home Premium. You also get this leaflet for Windows 7. This clearly entails that if you've bought a laptop or a computer from Novatech recently that you can get the free upgrade to Windows 7. So depending on what package of Vista you've got depends on what package of Windows 7 you'll actually get. You also get this quick guide to the notebook and also a quick start guide which accompanies it. With the CDs you get the device driver and utility CD as well as a user's manual on the CD and a copy of Microsoft Works 9. Also as you'd expect what comes with the laptop is the power leads which come in two parts like normal. You get the bit that plugs into the wall with a connection here and you also get the transformer box with the lead that plugs into the laptop. So it's simply a matter of plugging that into there. This end goes into your laptop. This end goes into your wall. Looking at the specifications of the laptop, the first thing I've got to tell you that it is solely AMD based. It's got an AMD processor, which is a TF20 1.6 single core. Normally you would expect an Intel Core 2 Duo, but this is an AMD laptop. It also features 2 gig of DDR2 memory, which is expandable up to 4 gigabytes. The graphics is an ATI Radeon X1200 mobile PCI Express graphics card. And it also features a Sound Blaster Pro, which is compatible with high definition audio. The hard drive is 250 gigabytes, operating at a speed of 5400 RPM. And it also features an 8 speed SATA interfaced DVD rewriter. The weight of the laptop is 2.9 kilograms. Looking at the laptop in some detail now, straight away you can see that it's made out of this black plastic material. And the top of it is quite subtle, where it just has a simple silver. Novatech logo. Looking at the underside of the laptop now, straight away we can see that it's got this label here explaining the model number and DC input. Underneath it tells us that it's manufactured in the UK by Novatech Limited and gives the address for Novatech as well as the web address at Novatech.com. We also get the Microsoft Windows Vista Home Premium license label and over here is where the battery goes. So to get the battery out it's a matter of pulling the clip over there and there and the battery slides out like so. It's quite a lightweight battery and to get it back in it's just a matter of sliding it in and pulling the lock over that side and the lock over on that side automatically gets pulled over. Taking a quick look at the front of the laptop, the only thing that we can really see on here are these various different uh, icons with corresponding LEDs above it. This includes things like the power, battery, Wi-Fi and hard drive activity lights. On the left hand side of the laptop we can see where the power adapter goes in, a VGA cable if you want to connect it to a bigger screen or a television, a ethernet cable connector. If we had a higher spec laptop this is where an eSATA port and HDMI port would be but instead they've got this rubber bung in there because the feature isn't on this laptop. We have two USB ports, a memory card slot is encased under here and also in here is where a PCM CIA card would go. And taking a look at the right hand side we can see these three jack ports which include your microphone and headphone ports, another USB, a SATA interface DVD rewriter, if it had a modem this would be here but instead it's got one of these rubber bungs inside and where you can fit a lock. Upon opening up the laptop we can straight away see that it's got this 15.6 inch screen which of course is widescreen and does support high definition video. Also underneath the screen we can see that it's got these speakers over here on either side and all the way around the screen are these little rubber grommets so that when the screen is pulled down you don't get any marks from the keyboard on the screen when it's closed and you reopen it again. As like most laptops just above the screen is a built-in integrated webcam. It's a 1.3 megapixel webcam from Bison. The layout on the keyboard is something that you'd expect. The only thing that it has got different to most laptops is this number keypad over here, which most laptops don't have. Normally they try and cram in as many keys as they can, as well as having the function keys, but you don't normally expect a number keypad on it. 
Taking a look at the mouse pad now, some laptops actually have a mouse pad as well as an extra little ball located in between the keys. This hasn't, it's purely just got the mouse pad, but if you don't get on with it, you can plug a mouse in to one of the sides of the laptop in the USB ports. So it's a very simple uh, layout with this. It's completely uh, touchpad with on the right hand side you've got two arrows. This means that when you're on your uh, when you're in your internet browser or in Windows Explorer, you can actually scroll up and down the page. There's one thing I don't like about this mouse pad and that is the button underneath. Normally you'd expect a left button and a right button. This is just one big button on a pivot, so it does take a little while to get used to. Normally in this part of the review we'd have a scout around on the internet and try and find the best possible price for the product that we're reviewing. Only problem is this product is manufactured by an e-tailer. It's manufactured by Novatech, so the only place you're going to be able to buy it is Novatech. So Novatech do sell this particular model for the price of £297.85, which is fantastic value for money. If you're in the market for a simple laptop, something that's going to fulfill your needs for general desktop work, web surfing, Facebooking, that kind of thing, but you still might at some stage want to edit photos, edit videos, play games, something that's going to give you the functionality to do that, um, th then this laptop's going to be the one for you. It comes perfectly equipped with a 15.6 inch widescreen high definition TFT screen, a 250 gig hard drive, an AMD 1.6 GHz processor, normally you'd expect an Intel based laptop, but this is AMD, as well as coming with 2 GB of super fast DDR2 memory. It will allow you to do all the simple tasks that you want with ease, and if you do see yourself as a budding um, photo editor, video editor, uh, something along them lines, then you are going to be able to do that at some stage. So the only downside that I can really see to this is normally on a laptop you expect part of it to be made from robust plastic, some of it possibly even a little bit of uh, metal. But with this it is fully cased in plastic and some people might see it as quite cheaply uh, built and possibly not as robust as they'd like it to be. Other than that, I think it's an absolutely fantastic laptop and that's why I'm giving it 4 out of 5 stars.